Hey guys, oh god, I've put way too much blusher on today. What do I look like? I did get ready with the lights off. God, that's, that's really not helping. Um, but hello, <laughs> welcome to the start of a new weekly vlog. It is Saturday today and we are just about to go and do the weekly food shop. We hate going after like 11 on a Saturday because it gets so busy and the COVID anxiety goes through the roof. But um, I had a massive lay-in, what can I say? And now I think it's like 12, one. I'm gonna show you my outfit. I am wearing this kind of like high neck cropped jumper, very tight sleeves from Zara and my high waisted petite jeans from Next. Maurice, something has come in the post for you. Are you excited? I just got this awesome delivery from Block. Katie G and Dr. Maurice enjoy popping the fridge to keep fresh. And also look, Dr. Maurice, you've got something. Um, I'm ridiculously excited about this. It's a fudge company and they saw my Instagram about the other day about the Lotus Biscuits. They sent some Lotus Biscuit fudge. Fuck. How good Fuck. does that look? Yeah, Pumpkin spice, to, trick or treat. Oh yeah, he'll love that. A toffee apple. <gasps> Maurice, what have you got? <laughs> You're so well behaved. What is it? It's for you, look. Speaking of awesome deliveries, I need to show you this. Um, right after I've sorted out my hair. <laughs> well, that is a bit better. Right, yeah. Yes, the really exciting thing that I wanted to show you guys was this. I'm so excited to be working with Womanizer today to tell you about this product and this campaign because it's something that I feel super passionately about. But basically, Womanizer, if you haven't heard of Womanizer, where have you been? They are like game changers in the sex toy industry but they have partnered with Lily Allen to relaunch their I Masturbate campaign. It's basically um, trying to raise awareness for sexual positivity and female pleasure and female masturbation. There's still such a stigma and taboo around female masturbation and female pleasure and it, like we need to get rid of it and the only way we're going to get rid of it is by talking about it and um, but i'm going to quickly show you the product first because it is beautiful oh i have a little cat who also wants to know what's going on inside this box um but the colorway of this is all beautiful this is the campaign hashtag hashtag i masturbate um oh my god he's really he's really curious <laughs> you're so cute so here she is, the Womanizer Liberty by Lily Allen. So it's her own limited edition version of the Womanizer Liberty. I'm gonna unbox this so you can see just how beautiful it is. But if you haven't heard of Womanizer before, they invented the revolutionary pleasure air technology and it was the first toy to use this technology to stimulate the clitoris with gentle air waves. And it feels amazing. And um, so I'll do a little unboxing. It looks like this, the toy, and as you can see, gorgeous like really beautiful clashing color prints really bold and um, very beautiful things i love about the womanizer i do actually have a liberty already and i use it all the time um but i love them because they have this magnetic cap they're so discreet like you wouldn't know that's a sex toy perfect for traveling with you can pop it in your handbag it has six different intensity levels that are really easy to kind of work with the plus and minus button waterproof so you can use it in the shower or the bath and you basically just place this cap over your clitoris and it uses its revolutionary air pressure technology to like pulsate and send those gentle airwaves to your clitoris so it has six different intensity levels i i that might look silly, me putting it on my, the tip of your nose, but apparently it's a good way to like test out what it's gonna feel like. Like that air pressure, it feels very nice. Another thing I really like about Womanizer is they also supply you with charging cable, so you don't have to worry about and forget about batteries, a travel case as well, and even more importantly, um, let me get this open a spare head because let's face it every woman is different and we all have different sized clitorises and vulvas and vaginas yeah they give you a different shaped one so you can experiment with them both and also this makes it super easy to clean because you just take that off wash this bit which is the only bit that comes in direct contact with your 
vagina. I just love this campaign. I love that Womanizer have teamed up with Lily Allen in order to shout about and raise awareness of sex positivity and female pleasure is so important. And the only way that we are gonna break this female orgasm taboo is by talking about it and sharing experiences because the more everyone talks about it, the less taboo it's gonna be. So I'd love to ask you and maybe we could have a discussion in the comments down below and on Instagram if you're if you follow me over on that. So I'd love to know where you guys stand towards the topic of female masturbation. Like, do you openly talk about it with your friends? A simple yes, no. I might put this as a poll on my um, Instagram as well because I think the results would be really interesting. Do you talk about it a lot with your friends? Um, are you embarrassed about it? Are you ashamed? Do you feel guilty after you masturbate? I think it's a really important conversation to have because it's nothing to feel guilty or embarrassed about. Um, it's really inspiring and really, um, I think, a beautiful thing to know what your body likes and um, to be able to talk about it openly without embarrassment. And if I can talk about it with you guys, knowing that my mum watches this channel, then I don't think you guys should be embarrassed. Yeah, let's talk about this together and share our experiences and use the I masturbate hashtag as well to get involved with the conversation and all together we can break taboo. So yeah, um, I'm so excited to have teamed up with Womanizer to talk about this campaign because it's, yeah, something that I feel really, really passionately about. I'm gonna go put this on charge now. Food shop done! It wasn't even as bad as we thought it would be. And because we're using up a lot of freezer food this week, um, it was quite affordable, quite an affordable weekly shop. We have a cat who loves getting in tote bags. <laughs> what are you doing in there? What are you doing? You're chasing your tail in there, aren't you? Oh, we're, we're just testing out this bag now. What do you reckon about that one? S -s smells good? Ooh. Oh my god. You found your new same thing. It, whilst G is making lunch, I am going to do something that I've been meaning to do for so long and that is declutter <laughs> and sort out the freezer. It is such a mess in there and I can never find anything and it just needs a bit of organising and a bit of getting rid of um, things that have been in there a bit too long. So I'm going to do that now. I don't know what's the best way to do this because I don't want anything to be frost. Shouldn't take that long. Okay. But do I get it all out? Maurice loves the freezer, don't you? Oh my god, oh my god, I don't even want to do this. Got a bag full of frozen herbs that we don't use when we buy them so we can like defrost them as we need. Cuts down on food waste that, but it's hefty. For lunch, we have a soup and a little sandwich. <laughs> um, I've put my pyjamas on, super cosy. And I think we're gonna watch a documentary on Amazon. We are in the middle of a documentary. We're, we've got just under an hour left, but we're gonna have a fudge break. <laughs> I want you guys to see us trying these because they look amazing. So we've got the Lotus Biscuit one, Trick or Treat one, which I think has like Mars bar in it and toffee apple. And then we've also got pumpkin spice, which I can't fit into my Tupperware. <laughs> I wanna try toffee apple. Okay, okay. Oh my God. That is very, Apple That literally just tastes like toffee apple. Mm. Lotus biscuit. Mm -hmm. Look, I'm judging bake off. Mm. I would like to say that I've tried a lot of fudge in my life. I love fudge. And I've never tasted fudge that actually tastes like what it's supposed to be. Like normally it's like peanut butter fudge, which is obviously a really strong flavor anyway, or like sea salt and sea salt fudge, which again is just pretty simple because it's just sea salt but these these are actually incredible like they actually taste like what they're supposed to be but delicate what's your fave i think the apple, the apple. apple. 
lotus toffee apple pumpkin spice i'm gonna leave a link to their instagram down below where you can buy them for dinner this evening we are um cooking one of the things we learned how to make in that charlie bigham like supper club thing it's a really easy um haddock spinach and parmesan gratin and it's so so easy you just wilt some spinach and put it in a like a ramekin or a dish then you lay it on your haddock you spoon over some creme fraiche and tabasco and then you put parmesan on top and grill it and i'm so excited for this one of the things that i was most excited for in um that I picked up in our food shop today was some Brussels sprouts. <laughs> it's a little bag of Brussels sprouts that needed to be used today for 84p, which is a bargain. So I'm also um, boiling them and then I'm gonna fry them with some garlic and some pine nuts, which I'm really excited about. Here it is, my Brussels with pine nuts and the fish pie with too much bread. This is, so, it smells so cheesy in this room. Oh my thing. God, no, I want a lot less than you, please, thanks. You are in trouble, Maurice. Why did you do that to my avocado plant? Oh, no. I'm not having a very good evening because of stuff, which I don't really want to talk about. Also, we need to talk about my skin at some point in this vlog because it is bad. I've been sharing how bad it is on Instagram stories. It's not good. But um, another thing that I got in the food shop that I'm really excited about is some oat milk chocolate milk and we were talking about milkshake this week and i was like oh it's just a shame i can't drink it because it does give me spots but i say dairy gives me spots and then i've just had loads of parmesan and creme fraiche for dinner so that doesn't help but yeah we're going to try this now and i'm really excited <laughs> why are you laughing need to feed him as well will i even be able to open this i can't believe you knocked over my avocado plant do you know how long that took for me to grow from scratch. What do you mean? We're the taste test is like, oh, that's that thing. Yeah, we're gonna do a taste test to see if we like it. Okay. Mm, smells like chocolate milk. <laughs> Looks like chocolate milk. <laughs> I like the way you keep his food separate. Is that because you you would keep it separate? <laughs> <if you're honest? laughs> it's only oat milk. Mmm. Mmm. That is like cold, cold hot chocolate. Cold chocolate. Oh yeah, so good. More of that, please. Just before I get comments about it, I know that Oatly are a little bit controversial these days and I have been trying out every oat milk alternative and I have not found one yet that goes in my tea at all. Like, they make my tea disgusting so much so that I don't enjoy it in the morning. So I'm using all of the ones I don't like for smoothies, but... I tried the Rude Health Barista one, which I had really high expectations for, and I, so much so I, I think I bought two of them before I even tried it, and it's rank. Um, I think they'd be nice in coffee, so if you if like you use your oat milk for coffee, then go for it, but just for tea, mm-mm. Mm. Morning. it is sunday and well we had plans today to go for a walk with a friend obviously the tier thing has changed now so we can't meet up with anyone indoors but you can still meet up with someone outside um i think as long as you keep a distance so g and i are going for a walk around barbican farringdon area um for christmas last year g bought me this book of like hidden london walks and we've done the Hampstead one already with my friend linus and yeah, we, we do the Barbican kind of Clerkenwell area um, today, except it is pissing it down outside. The weather said it was going to be nice and sunny this morning and it is not. Um, so I think we're not going to do the full walk. We're just going to meet up with him, say hello, maybe have a tiny bit of fresh air and then just head back. Um, also today, I'm going to see my grandparents. My granddad isn't very well at the moment, um, so yeah, I just want to spend as much time with him and my nan as possible, so I imagine that'll be another day sitting inside their nice cosy home and me 
talking to them through the window outside. I'll show you what I'm wearing. So I got this really cute dress from Zara. It is surprisingly like fits me perfectly considering I'm so short. But it's like a navy print, navy blue with this high neck which I'm not going to lie it does feel like it's suffocating me a little bit. And it's super tight and like yeah just the perfect like mid knee length. I really like it. It's kind of like a skater girl shape. The arms are too long on me though. <laughs> But I'm um, wearing it with a bobble hat and maybe a rain mac as well because it's so awful outside. Okay, change of plan. We're not going to do that because it is pissing it down. Um, oh, I am quite sad about that because I thought it, we'd get some nice pics. But might still go, me and G might still go for just a little walk around the block. Um, and then I guess it means we get to spend more time with Dr. Maurice before we go out. Um, I haven't vlogged since this morning but I went to see my grandparents got home had a tiny chill and then went to um, my circus class we took some Halloween pics I'll insert some footage here Instagram. I'm pretty pooped, pretty exhausted. Need to take this lipstick off my face. Got a lovely dinner of salmon, broccoli, and rice. Yes. Hey guys, it is Monday morning. Well, Monday lunchtime. My lunch today is a little bit salad, a little sausage roll, and some hummus. And it looks like this. I really haven't vlogged much today. Um, I've just been, yeah, just working. It's hard. To, it's always hard to remember to vlog when I'm working. But um, I've got a really exciting event at six o'clock tonight um, with Red Ken and Nyx. We're doing like a Halloween makeup tutorial with Sam Kusick, who does my hair, and Anna Lingis. She's an amazing makeup artist. Her looks on... Um, Instagram are just incredible so I'm really excited for her to be teaching us some Halloween inspo so yeah I imagine I'm going to be looking a little bit different after this event here they are here's Sam and Anna so excited <laughs> Okay, so these were the products I used. This NYX palette, which is so pigmented. I'm super impressed by this because I also know... Oh my god, I can't get it open with one hand. Um, because I also know how affordable NYX are. But these are super pigmented for the price. Gorgeous glitter. Oh my god, I love this. I need to get more of these. Um, this is in 11. Um, a black liquid liner, a white li liquid liner, and a jumbo eye pencil in black. And Sam taught us how to do the hair. The Red Ken Extreme Play Safe Heat Protectant. This, I love this. Not only because it protects my hair, but oh my god, it smells amazing. Like it makes my hair smell incredible. Dry finishing spray, wind blown, and the Control Addict hairspray. All of these I'm a massive, massive fan of. So yeah, this is the finished look. This guy is looking at me like, what do you look like? 
<laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? And yeah, this graphic liner with some glitter. And yeah, I haven't even really, I've got a little bit of concealer on, but I haven't even put proper foundation on. And I like this. And I love these little space buns. I don't know why I don't do this hairstyle more often. It's so cute. So I'm gonna cook dinner now. Um, Jean has gone to the gym and I'm gonna cook dinner. I need to take a picture of my gorgeous makeup first though. So I made my pasta <laughs> make. And um, we were listening to a podcast the other week about how some families have really weird like food, like food recipes or weird things that they do with food that you think is normal until you grow up and you talk to someone else about it and you realize it's weird. Well, my family always put crisps on top of a pasta bake. Like we always like mush up crisps and sprinkle it on top. <laughs> I said I was gonna do it to Jean. He's, he thought I was joking for about five minutes, but I've done it. Um, we only had like sweet chili crisps. So I sprinkle those on top with some cheese. This is huge. This is gonna last us like five days. Five minutes. Five minutes. 